Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, as you probably have noticed, I'm finally feeling some fall vibes around here. Got my plaid shirt back on, rocking a seriously dark red lip today. And this is actually one of the things we're gonna be talking about today. I am going to be sharing 10 lip products that I absolutely love for fall. A lot of these are newer to my collection, things that I'm really excited to be wearing. So hopefully this will give you a little inspiration to go dig through your makeup collection, pull out your fall lip shades, or if you're in the need to pick something new up, you wanna refresh your collection, maybe this will give you some ideas for your shopping list. But before I get into things, I do want to say hello to any of you who are new here to my channel or who have recently subscribed. My name is Lauren. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we chat about some makeup goodness. I upload new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so I hope you will subscribe, stick around, come back for more, come see my face again. And uh, now that we have been properly introduced, let us get into my 10 fall lip product recommendations. So, because I'm trying to like up my game as a beauty YouTuber, I actually just sat down and swatched all 10 of these products on my lips. So as we talk about them, I will insert some clips of me applying each of these products so you can see exactly what they look like on the lips. I always find it really helpful when other people do this because sometimes it's hard to tell from just an arm swatch what something's actually gonna look like. So hopefully that will be helpful for you. So I've kind of broken things down into, I would say four categories. We're gonna talk about a couple of nudes, a couple of berry tones. We're gonna talk about my like pumpkin spice, red, orangey, delicious shades, and then some like true fall reds. So let's start out with the nudes. This one here I have shown on my channel a lot and I don't see anyone else on YouTube talk about this particular product, but I actually love this formula, maybe even more than the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is their Lip It Up Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Cinnamon Swirl specifically. And this to me, I actually talked about in my 10 favorite nude lip recommendations video. So this one's making a return because I think this is like A, just one of my favorite nudes ever, but I think it's such a perfect fall nude, especially because it's a little bit deeper, it's a little bit warmer, and it just kind of, I feel like is very seasonally appropriate. This particular formula is very, very creamy, moisturizing, leaves a nice sheen on the lips. It's got, again, like a satin finish, as the name would suggest, which I think is becoming much more trendy right now. I think a lot of people are moving away from the drying matte lips. So if you want something a little more wearable, comfortable, easy to apply, this shade right here is bank. Now this next lip product, again, is something I don't think I've heard anybody talking about on YouTube. This one I got in an Ipsy bag a little ways back. I've gotten quite a few products from this brand from Ipsy before, but it's outside of Ipsy reviews, something that nobody talks about, and it's a really cool brand. So this is the Seraphine Botanicals Raisin and Cream Long Lasting Creamy Lip Stain. Now, Seraphine Botanicals is a more natural brand. They use various fruit extracts and oils in their products. So I find this to be an incredibly nourishing lip product. Now, this shade, Raisin and Cream specifically, like they have a bunch of other lip crayons like this that are different things and cream. So this is the Raisin one, which is again, a really pretty, deep, warm nude. It's a little bit darker and rosier than the cinnamon swirl I just showed you, but this is so pretty on the lips and it smells very fruity. It smells really nice. It's a very enjoyable product to apply. So with this being a twist up crayon, this is the kind of product that's really easy to throw in your bag, reapply on the go. It's very forgiving. Now, obviously once the tip on this like wears down, it's gonna be a little less precise than it is right now, but I still don't think it's going to be that difficult to apply because of the type of formula that it is. So this is something very, very underrated. I think it's a beautiful, nudey, neutral shade for fall and something I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of use out in the coming months. Then we're gonna move on to some berry toned lips. Now, I don't have like any really bold berry shades in 
my collection this year, which I have favored before. And I do love like a juicy, jewel-toned berry lip. I think it can be so, so pretty. But these two are a little more wearable and I think are going to be flattering for a lot of different people. So if you're someone that doesn't like a very bold lip, but you want like a hint of berry, these are gonna be right up your alley. So the first one is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Lacquer in the shade Pout. Now, I will say this about this formula. This is a very polarizing lip product. I personally love it, but I think a lot of people are not going to like this product, so take this as you may. This is a really high shine lip lacquer, so it's basically kind of like a gloss, but it is very thick. This is a terrible swatch. Clean that up for you guys a little bit. So basically, this is a very thick lip product. It feels like almost like a gel-like consistency on the lips. You could definitely tell that you're wearing a lip product. If you want something very light and like non-existent feeling, this is not that kind of product. It is a very, very thick gloss, but it goes on super, super high shine. It packs some really beautiful pigment and it just gives you that really glassy, wet look on your lips. It's so beautiful and it's very, very hydrating. This doesn't dry my lips out at all, which I really appreciate. And it's very long wearing for a glossy lip product. Like it doesn't disappear after an hour. Obviously, yes, if you're eating or drinking, it's gonna transfer. But if you're just wearing it, it will stay looking beautiful for hours and hours, which I really appreciate. So I personally really enjoy this formula, but if you don't like that thick, now, it's not necessarily really sticky, but it does have a little bit of a stick to it and it is very thick. So if you don't like that texture, this may not be your gloss. Also, it smells oh, like vanilla frosting, like a buttercream. It's super delicious. The other sort of berry tone lip product I have for you guys is also a gloss, but this one is a little bit less thick and sticky. So I think you may like this one better if the Bare Minerals Lip Lacquer is not your cup of tea. This is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss. I just got sent this from my friend Maria in a makeup swap that we did. This is the shade Pout, which I'm gonna swatch it next to the Bare Minerals shade. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more purple in tone, but they're very, very similar. Now this has a very minty, uh, like taste to it and it has that sort of cooling minty tingle like really when those are swatched they look almost identical but the formulas are definitely a little bit different this also is going to give you a lot of shine but again it's a little bit less thick a little more creamy feeling on the lips going to give you that lip plumping kind of tingly feel so this is actually really nice as well i've been enjoying it quite a bit i think this would also look really beautiful layered over a lip liner because it's a little more sheer i feel like than the bare minerals one so if you want to get more color payoff, you could go in with like a berry tone lip liner and then layer this on top and I think that would look so pretty. Then we move into probably my favorite category of lip products. These are our like spicy pumpkin colors. I love a good rust or like red orange shade. I am a warm toned lip product lover. So I'm all about the orange shades pretty much all throughout the entire year in the summer i like to wear like a really bright red orange so for fall i like to kind of tone it down a little bit make things a little bit more gritty dark a little more of like a dirty orange red kind of vibe so the first one here this is such a great affordable lip product this is the ColourPop luxe lipstick in the shade foolish this right here is so stunning it is that like burnt orange terracotta-y red. It's really, really rich, really autumnal. And this particular formula is so amazing. For $7, these are like the best freaking lipsticks ever. I'm obsessed. They have like a demi-matte finish. They're not really shiny, but they're not like a flat matte either. They're very creamy. They go on full pigment on the lips. They glide right on really easily and the packaging is flippin' adorable as heck. Now, if you want something with a little more of a gloss finish, I would definitely recommend the uh, Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipsticks. I love the original bullet lipstick formula from this brand as well. I think it's incredible. It's more expensive than ColourPop. It's like $26, so definitely more of an investment, but probably like my favorite high-end bullet lipstick formula. This guy, though, is more of a lipstick and gloss hybrid. It's got that shine and feel of a gloss, but the pigmentation of a lipstick. So it's not sheer at all. I mean, this baby is like full on color. It is so stunning. This is the shade Puree, which is again, like a very sort of 
burnt rosy color. It's a little bit more on the rosy red tone than I think Foolish is, but it's still got that sort of nice warm oranginess to it that I think is really, really pretty for fall. And if you don't know, Bite Beauty's lip products have this very distinct scent to them that's kind of lemony and delicious. I absolutely love it. All their products are made with food grade ingredients, so you're not putting any weird nasty chemicals all over your lips, which I really appreciate. But just how pretty is this color? I think it's super stunning for fall. And there are also actually some other shades from this line that <laughs> sold out recently. I'm sure they'll come back in stock at some point, but that were really beautiful for fall. I think Pear was one of them, P-A-R-E. That one was like really orangey and amazing, but it was sold out when I tried to buy it. So this is also a solid option, would definitely recommend. And then this guy is relatively new to me. I just picked this up during a recent Ulta haul and it is such a cool pumpkin-y color. This is the Juvia's Place liquid lipstick in the shade Soil. Now this is very much a traditional liquid lipstick. It goes on very liquidy and it dries down completely matte you get a ton of color payoff. It's very, very pigmented. You really only need like one coat to get full color on your lips, but it is a little bit on the drying side and scent wise, it's a little more chemically, it's kind of a little paint-like. So it's not my favorite formula wise from that respect. I've been really um, gravitating towards the more glossy moisturizing lip products lately as I'm wearing like, you know, the maddest of matte lips, but whatever. But I do absolutely love this shade. I think it's so stunning. It would probably be flattering on a number of different skin tones. I think a lot of people shy away from like the red oranges, but they're really flattering on the dark complexions and even on very, very fair people. You just gotta get out of your comfort zone and experiment a little. And then the last category I have for you guys are the reds. Now I feel like for fall, I really appreciate a more rich, deep red as opposed to like a bright, vibrant, classic, blue based red, that to me is timeless and you can really wear any time of the year. But if I'm thinking like what feels fall to me, I feel like a more rich, deep red really looks nice at this time of year with your boots and your scarves and all your kind of like cozy clothes. This first one I will say is probably the most wearable, the most flattering, and if you're afraid of red lipstick, will be your new best friend. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Storative Effects. And this formula, if you've never tried it, is I think one of the best liquid lipsticks you can get at the drugstore, $7 and it's incredible. You have a really nice diamond shaped applicator so it makes precision application really easy. But this is a very smooth and creamy liquid lipstick. It does dry down to, as it says, a velvet matte uh, finish. So it's not like a flat, dry, powdery matte. It does have a bit of creaminess to it, but it doesn't have like a glossy or shiny finish. These do dry down, but not to the point again where they dry your lips out. They dry down very comfortably. Once they're set, they don't transfer that badly. They're really long wearing, but they feel really light and comfortable on the lips. And I think this shade is such a beautiful red. It is a little less opaque than some of these other formulas. So you can kind of build it up or have a little of your natural lip color showing through. But the trade-off is that the formula is so freaking comfortable and easy to work with. I think for pretty much anyone, if you feel like reds are very finicky and difficult to apply, and you have to be so, so careful and precise, you'll probably really like this because it just glides on like a breeze. It looks natural, even though it's a red and it's vibrant and it's just, a beautiful formula and it's seven dollars like I can't get over the fact that this is so good for the price then we have the lip that I'm wearing right now this is a matte liquid lipstick from the brand the beauty crop in the shade I'm a boss I'm a mouse is anybody else Lonely Island anybody anybody I absolutely adore this packaging with the rose gold and the little lips oh my god it's super super cute but basically this is a very dark vibrant, vampy red, and it is also a very true liquid lipstick formula. It goes on very thin and liquidy and dries down completely matte. This is the kind of lipstick that as it dries and you add more layers, it like darkens on your lips. As you can see how it looks swatched and how it looks on my lips dried, it's a little bit deeper. So just keep that in mind if you're ever buying anything from this line gonna dry down darker than it looks in the tube. But this is a very transfer resistant, not going anywhere lip product. Like, okay, here's my hand. 
nothing like pretty much nothing there so i know that this is like a very long lasting transfer resistant formula obviously if you eat anything oily it's going to break the lipstick down so just be mindful of that because with a shade that's this intense if it does like start to break down and get oily it will start to break apart and transfer everywhere so you have been warned this has the potential to get messy if you're not careful. Like you may wanna take this off if you're going to eat a cheeseburger, just saying. But if you're just gonna like be drinking your pumpkin spice latte or whatever this fall, I think this is such a beautiful, classic, deep, vampy fall red. The Beauty Crop is a cruelty-free brand. It's not that expensive. I wanna say that these retail for like 12 or $14. I'm not 100% sure on the price, but it's not going to break the bank. And I do think if you like a traditional liquid lipstick, the formula is pretty awesome. It's just, it's drying. It, it's definitely drying. That's a trade off for it being so transfer proof. You're gonna want to like make sure your lips are well prepped and not chapped before you apply this because I feel like it is the kind of liquid lipstick that is potentially going to enhance the look of texture on your lips if they're really, really flaky because it doesn't have that creamy kind of like moussey texture. But all that being said, if you want to rock the like super vampy red lip, I'm a boss is like, it really does make you feel like a boss. And then finally, the last product I wanted to share with you all is this liquid lipstick from Grande Lips. Now I've tried this formula for a while, but this shade is relatively new to me. I got it in my boxy Lux box. It's the shade Rebel Raisin. And this is like the epitome of the vampy dark berry fall lip. This is like, a kind of like dark aubergine color. I mean, that is, that is fall right there. Now these liquid lipsticks are interesting because they are a plumping liquid lipstick. So this does have a much more thick, moussey consistency to it. And it gives you that minty, tingly feeling on your lips that you would get with like a plumping gloss but it's a liquid lipstick. It's very different and interesting. And I do kind of like this formula because it doesn't enhance texture as much or feel as drying as some liquid lipsticks. It also has that same kind of uh, diamond shape applicator that's really nice for precise application, which you definitely are gonna want with this kind of a shade because it is so absolutely dark. Now, honestly, I would say to get the best application with this, you may wanna go in with a lip liner first just to create that super precise sharp line around the lips. Because this is a little more moussey, I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to get a really crisp line with this than you could with like a really liquidy liquid lipstick. It's also, as with many dark shades, it's a little patchy, but not super patchy. You just kind of have to finesse it a little bit. Again, I think if you use a lip liner, it will help a lot to just really perfect the look of this. I just think it's a really pretty shade and it is a unique formula for this kind of a product with the whole plumping kind of aspect to it. I don't know if it necessarily makes your lips look plumper. I mean, let's be serious, but it definitely makes your lips look a little bit more smooth and less kind of crinkly where some matte liquid lipsticks have a tendency to do that. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I hope it was helpful to see these 10 lip products in action. Hopefully got you a little bit inspired to go back to your own collection and see what fall shades you have hanging around or maybe if you're planning on going to pick up something new, you've got a few uh, little ideas for what you can add to your shopping list. Either way, let me know in the comments down below what lip shade are you most excited to be wearing this fall? Are you a matte person? Are you a gloss person? Do you like nudes or berries? Are you like a red person? Tell me all about what your preferences are in the comments. I love chatting with you guys so much. And if you had a favorite of the 10 lip products I swatched today, definitely let me know because I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more videos from me in the future, I hope you will consider clicking that button before you go. Click the notification bell as well if you want to know exactly when my my uploads go live. Again, I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing start to your fall, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.